My boyfriend of two years is obsessed with League of Legends and some of their Korean streamers. So my boyfriend and I have been dating for about two years. Before League became such a huge part of his life, our relationship was amazing. He was intelligent, sweet, thoughtful, and attractive to boot. We lived together and communicated well, and all our fights and arguments were resolved civilly without raised voices or hurtful words. I know it's naive to say so since I'm relatively wrong, but I honestly thought we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. I fudged a few details just in case since he's a redditor, though mostly for the lol subreddit. But the gist of it was, our relationship was great. Almost a year ago he started playing League of Legends a MOBA game, and I joined as well. We used to play together and have a lot of fun. I stopped because of other responsibilities, but he has recently gotten extremely invested into the game. He buys their merch, team merchandise, lots of skins, cosmetic add-ons to the game, etc. Which is fine since he makes a good amount of money. What really bothers me are his delusions of going pro, and his obsession with some league streamers. It started out with him really liking this one champion, characters in the game, named Riven, and constantly looking up how to play her, and talking to me about how her mechanics are superior to other champions. But, he watched a League of Legends Twitch streamer known for playing Riven. I didn't mind until he started talking about this person's girlfriend. He told me how famous League professional players and streamers have cute Asian girlfriends, and has jokingly made comments like I wish I had one too haha, it probably comes with the job. I've told him it makes me uncomfortable, and he always rebuffs me with reassurances that he was just kidding, and that he loved me and was just jealous of their easy lifestyles playing video games, that's all. Yet, I always find him refreshing that couple's social media, over and over again. The girl doesn't even stream very much or post very much, and the boy, he fawns over every tweet or Facebook post of his. He started watching a friend of that girl who also streams, and tells me to start streaming and get an Okpop, a site for K-pop news, sponsorship just like her for easy money. Lately he just watches any Korean girl streamer, even going so far as to spending hours looking for any new girl streamers with low viewer counts to see if any of them are Korean. He started commenting that he wished he also had a cute Korean girlfriend, and recently started going on rants about how Koreans were superior at video games, proven by how a Korean team had won the League World Finals for two years. He basically worships a Korean player named Faker, and talks about him a lot as well. He tells me he really wants to try going professional in League of Legends. He seems to have deluded himself into thinking he is really good at the game just because he achieved a high ranking this year after only a year of playing. He says he would be happier with that life than his life right now and plays League for hours trying to improve and yelling at who knows what over voice communication. To be honest I'm not as concerned about that as I am about his infatuation with streamers. I think he will snap out of his fantasy about going pro but I'm not so sure about this Korean girl thing. Frankly I think it's weird, obsessive, childish and racist. He tells me he has his preferences, and that he should be allowed to play video games in his free time and follow his dreams. I always feel bad when we talk about it because somehow, I end up feeling like I'm the one being possessive and controlling. Every time I bring it up, he gets extremely defensive, and it's very draining. I don't want to break up over something that seems so trivial and dumb, especially because up until now our relationship has been wonderful, but I am at the end of my rope here. I don't know what to do. I really want to make this relationship work, because it was honestly going so perfect in the beginning, but at this point, I am frustrated and feeling jealous about the entire thing. What can I do or say to get through to him? Is it salvageable? Some of my friends told me it's just he crushes easily, and it's not a big deal. Part of me is worried that I just don't understand this video game mentality or perspective since I quit League of Legends shortly after playing it. Maybe he is good enough to go pro after all, I wouldn't know. Sorry for the long post. This is so utterly stupid and I'm a bit upset. Well, I tried to have another civil conversation with him about it. While he agreed to talk to me, he queued up for another match on League of Legends and said he would talk after that one. Then when I returned an hour later, he was in the middle of another one. I left again, and I heard him screaming at his teammates again another hour later. At this point, I was tired of his bullshit. I unplugged our internet, sorry team, and yelled at him. I honestly think I scared him, it was a deer in the headlights look as I was screaming talk to me. I swear I could feel the flames coming out of my ears. I told him that his riven god shrined idol had commented on a post I made about him saying the lifestyle was not actually that easy. 
I told him he was not going to go professional. I looked up statistics and all of that fun stuff, and he's not even that good. Lyle.yigao. Then and I said his comments about cute Korean girlfriends when I'm Chinese, and you know, like, sitting right next to him when he makes these comments, really hurt me. I told him I thought he needed to get his goals back to reality and break his addiction to league since he was losing control of his responsibilities. I said I would be willing to go to counseling with him if he could just at least want to fix himself. He then started crying about how much he must have hurt me and threw himself on the floor, apologizing and promising to uninstall League of Legends and never mention cute Korean girlfriends again. Shortly after, he used his newfound time to invent the cure for cancer. Just kidding. He completely avoided everything I said about and screamed back at me for disconnecting his ranked match, something something provisionals, something I'm being a bitch to nine other people. And, Boxbox's girlfriend, doesn't unplug his internet while he's streaming and working does she? In the middle of his tirade I just burst out laughing. It was suddenly so ridiculous to me that he could miss the mark so totally and completely. He then proceeded to call me a heartless bitch for suddenly cackling while he was moaning about how he was going to get reported or wanting to get his dick wet with Korean girls or whatever. When he was done I told him we were over. My parents came over to help me pack all of my shit and leave. The entire time he just glowered at me. As I was leaving he told me he was glad and that he always liked Korean girls better anyway. A few weeks later, he texted me a Luong apology groveling for forgiveness and admitting that he's seen the light and realized it was a delusional fantasy and Korean girls weren't even that pretty anyway. Haha. <laughs> I won the $25 bet with my friend that he was going to come crawling back and then deleted his contact on my phone and that was that. Don't get me wrong though, it hurts a lot. I did spend two years with him and was deliriously happy for 99% of it together. Though for some reason, it didn't hurt as much as I was expecting it to. Pretty sure I just missed the times we had or the person he was, and all that good breakup, quote stuff. Thanks everyone for your helpful comments, I really appreciated the reassurance that I wasn't insane. Also I picked up the game myself and, hey, it's pretty fun. Follow or subscribe.